You've always loved building things with your hands. So you decided to start building houses in your small town. You start to research and learn how to build a home. Then one of your neighbors asks you to build a guest house for him. So you talk with your neighbor and nail down the exact blueprint for the house. He asks you what price you'll charge, but you just aren't sure. First, you need to figure out exactly what the house will cost to build before you can set a price. But how do you calculate costs for building a house? I'm Nathan from Accounting University, and in today's video, I will help you understand job costing in five minutes. In college, you remember you took an accounting class that talked about the three main types of costs for any project. The three big categories of costs are direct materials, direct labor, and overhead. Now, what are direct materials? Well, they're the direct components that can be traced to the build of the project. For our house, we have a few materials we need to add. Brick, wood, plastic, glass, cement, and all of these can be directly traced to the build of the home. After returning from the hardware store, you figure out the total amount of materials needed for the house. And you paid for it on credit, so to account for that, we need to record a journal entry. We're going to take all of these direct materials and use them for the house. So we debit an account called Work in Progress, which shows all of the three big costs moving into the project because they're working on it. So we debit work in progress for 45,000 and we're going to credit accounts payable for 45,000. This shows the materials $45,000 worth moving into work in progress. To help build the guest house, you hire two workers. They are considered direct labor since they are directly building the home. Now what is direct labor? Well, it's the labor that can be traced to the build of the project. So you have your two workers and we're going to estimate a thousand hours and we're going to pay each worker $15 per hour. So we debit work in progress for 15,000 and we'll credit wages payable for 15,000. Now what is overhead? Well, it's a little bit different than labor and materials. It's the cost that cannot be traced, but rather applied to the build of the project based on a cost driver. Electricity, indirect materials such as tools, transportation costs, fees, and insurance coverage for people and equipment. At the beginning of the project, it's very difficult to estimate how much overhead will be needed. So in job costing, we actually calculate something called a predetermined overhead rate. To apply our overhead, we must do it in three steps. Step one, determine the cost driver. And in this example, our cost driver will be labor hours. So we budget, a thousand labor hours. Step two, what are our budgeted overhead costs? Well, based on our estimates, we estimate $34,000 will be our budget. Step three, we're gonna calculate a predetermined overhead rate. To do that, we just divide step two, divided by step one, 34,000 divided by a thousand hours equals $34 per direct labor hour. Now we need to record overhead in a journal entry. To record our entry, we must take our predetermined rate of $34 per labor hour, and we're going to multiply it times our actual direct labor hours used. So by multiplying 34 times 1,200, we're going to debit our work in progress for 40,800, and we're going to credit our manufacturing overhead account for 40,800. To sum it up, our direct materials are traced to work in progress. Our direct labor is also traced, but our overhead is applied to work in progress. Now we total our costs. Direct materials, 45,000. Direct labor, 15,000. And overhead, we apply it for 40,800. Let's add them up. And our total is $100,800. And now we must record the finished job. We jump into a journal entry and we debit finished goods for 100,800 and we credit work in progress for 100,800. And to show our sale, we move our finished goods into cost of goods sold. So we debit cost of goods sold for 100,800 and we credit finished goods for 100,800. At the end of the five months, when we finish the job, we add up our actual overhead that we incurred and it totaled to be 42,800. So our actual overhead was 42,800, but our applied overhead was 40,800. So we actually underapplied it 
by $2,000. So what we need to do is make a correction entry to our cost of goods sold. We have to debit cost of goods sold by the underapplied 2000 and we credit our manufacturing overhead by 2000 At the end of the five months, the house is fully built and our neighbor is satisfied with the home so we can finally sell it to him. To set our price for the job, we need to mark it up to get our profit. And we're gonna mark it up at 20%. Now we record our cash collected, taking our cost of 100,800, multiply times one plus our markup 1.20, equaling 120,960. So we debit cash for 120,960 and credit our revenue for 120,960. My name is Nathan from Accounting University and you just learned job costing in five minutes. And make sure to like this video so it spreads to more people and subscribe so you don't miss another one. Until next time.